Hi guys. So in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about how I used the Marrow app during my internship. A lot of you messaged me and commented on my videos asking for how to use the Marrow app efficiently and how to use custom modules ep efficiently. So I'm going to try and highlight what I did and I'm sure that it will help you too because it helped me a lot. So when we are interns and I used to do my preparation during internship. So when we are interns, we get a lot of free time during the day, right? You're waiting. There are times you're waiting for reports. You're waiting for investigations to be sent. You're waiting for discharge summaries. You're waiting for your PGs and consultants to give you orders. And sometimes duty nights are chill. So you end up having a lot of free time. So what I used to do, especially during the latter part of my internship was use these bits of free time to solve MCQs. Even if I had 15, 20 minutes, I would try to solve 10 to 15 MCQs in that little gap of free time. So I'm waiting for a discharge summary to get signed. So I would just take out my mobile and solve a few, even five to 10 MCQs in that much time. So how did I do this? By using a feature called the custom module on the Marrow app. So what is this custom module? So I'm going to highlight on firstly, for those who don't know how to open the custom module. So first open the Marrow app, go to the QBank settings and you can see custom module on the top right corner. So open that and you'll get an option of number of questions. So like I said, this depends on the amount of free time you have. So whenever I was waiting for investigations or when I knew I had 10, 20 minutes free, I would do try to do 10 to 25 questions. So we have both those options here. So I would try to do 10 to 25 questions. But later during my internship, when I took off to study for need, I took 15 days off to study for need. At that time, I would do custom models of 100 and five a day of, of those. So I would select usually 25. So today for this video sake, I'll select 10 and then we'll get a selection of subjects. So again, I used to do subjects or I used to do all subjects. So whenever possible, I would do all subjects because I want to simulate the real exam. The first advantage of doing all subjects or solving MCQs randomly is that it simulates the real exam. NEET is an exam where the questions are in a mixed bag format. You don't get subject wise division. You do get part A, part B and part C, but not subject wise. You won't get first 10 questions anatomy, then 10 questions physiology, then 10 questions biochemistry. It's not like that. It's a mix and match. So when you solve randomly, you are simulating the NEET environment and that helps you develop confidence or that gives you a good bit of confidence in solving and jumping from subject to subject. And also when you solve the QBank, you are very monotonous. You are only reading one subject for a lot of time. Whereas if you solve randomly, you are reading high yield points or important points from varied subjects. So if I do 25 questions and in that 25 questions, I get questions from uh, 10 questions from medicine five from surgery, five from OBG and five from orthopedics. I've covered so many important topics from all these subjects. Whereas if I do 25 questions from patho, I am only covering a few questions in patho, which may or may not come. So random subjects, two advantages. One is it simulates the real neat environment or the real neat exam. And two is you get to cover high yield points from variety of subjects rather than just one subject. So I used to prefer doing random uh, questions from the custom model and I would select all subjects. And the next is the tags. Initially, I used to do all tags because again, I wanted to finish the Marrow QBank and it's a very, you know, it's the most brilliant thing on Marrow. We have excellent lecture videos. We have excellent lecture notes, but still question bank is king. So my favorite part of Marrow is the question bank and it's very comprehensively designed. And if you finish the question bank, you will definitely get a great, great rank. So again, I would do all the tags and I would go forward. So here you have to choose between the exam mode and the regular mode. So I used to always choose the exam regular mode because in the regular mode, you get the answer after solving the question. So in the exam mode, for example, if I've, take, if I've selected 10 questions, I get the answers to those questions only after I finish solving all 10 questions. Whereas in the regular mode, I, I get the answer after each question. So I used to always choose the regular mode. So I'm choosing the regular mode again, and then you click create, and then it creates the custom module and then you open the custom module, you'll get an option called solve. You can see that here. You open this option solve and you start solving the questions. And you know, you have 15 minutes, you finish 10 questions and you read 10 new points. Next break you get or next summary you're waiting for, next investigation you go to collect. Again, open it, open 10 questions, try to solve. And you'll end up cumulatively in the day 
covering around 100 questions just like that because you do get a lot of free bits during internship at least in private colleges like mine ramaya we do get a lot of free time during internship and i used to use a lot of that time to solve mcqs and it definitely helped me and if there's one thing i regret i wish i had spent more time solving because i might have even got a better rank i only started in the latter part of my internship so that was on custom modules and the advantages of using custom module and how to use custom module so after that solve start solving